hello hello after yesterday's video I had some ideas that I wanted to try out but I thought I would just have the camera rolling and try some things out in case things didn't work I thought I would try the packing tape fake mica idea but to make it a little bit more sturdy we'd see what it looked like running it running it through the laminating machine and uh, I, I, here you can see that I'm pulling the tape up and down to get those marks on the packing tape like I did in my previous fake mica video um, and I lay it all out onto that laminating pouch So I get five strips onto this pouch, which is pretty good. I'm just going to push it flat and then grab a bone folder to just try and make sure that I'm flattening, flattening out as many of those big creases as I can. As you can see, you get that lovely effect. So in that box of laminating pouches, I did actually find one of these carriers to go through the laminating machine however you can see um, it, it does work to an extent need a cup of tea uh, while I'm doing this so I put it through and it is a lot easier to get it through using this carrier uh, but I just really wasn't happy with the results So the moment of truth, um, I take it out and it's still rather dull. Uh, it's quite clear that it didn't really heat up enough. Now I could have turned the heat up on the laminator, but I decided to just run it through again and see what it looked like. And I could already see as it's coming out the other side that it does look much, much better. And I was really happy with that texture and effect you get using that laminating pouch over the top of that. So I made myself a second one um, because I was so pleased with it and I did a second sheet. There was one quite big air bubble so I thought I'd just give that a little burnish to see if that would come out. I love the effect of this, I've got to say. I think it worked perfectly and it does look, it's actually a little bit more elaborate than mica. But I decided I'd just cut that little piece out. I wanted to make sure it didn't separate and also just to see what it would look like cut out. And I love it, even with that big bubble in. But it doesn't separate. I was worried that it wouldn't stick to the tape but it did. So I thought I'd have a little go with a couple of die cuts. So I grabbed my file folder die from Sizzix. So I slide the die underneath the laminating pouch and then open the pouch up. And I thought it, I would need to put a little mark here and there to show where I would need to cut. But in actual fact, you didn't need to do this. So you don't need to add the marks so I'm laying out some flowers remembering that the bottom part of that will be upside down I decided to ink a little label and then I thought it's going to appear on the other side as well so I inked the other side got out my stamps and just added a little stamp to the back of that using my stays on ink So I just give it a little blow to make sure that ink is dry and then lay that down. Close the pouch halfway and then I actually move the die over a little bit so I can do a second file folder. Um, I use much brighter flowers this time and I actually decided to lay all of the flowers so they'd be facing the same way when the file folder was closed. But again, I find another label give that an ink and I stamp the back.
So I close up the pouch and remove my die. And as I turned it around, I thought it's it's actually quite precarious there. So I slide that little pouch underneath the laminating pouch so I can feed that through the machine and actually nothing moved. I was amazed. I do decide to run this through the machine a second time. It wasn't too bad, but I just wanted to, there was a few little bits where the flowers are that I thought could do with being run through a second time. So I'm now gonna take that off to my machine to run that through, the die. And I absolutely loved how these turned out. They looked so cute. They were very dusty. The static um, on the plastic picks up everything but I really did love them. I just needed to um, give those a bit of a wipe down really. So I decided to do some sewing. I take them off to my sewing machine and this one I left open as a file folder and just give that a little burnish down once I'd done that. And the other one I actually sewed together as a pouch and I just love them. I was so happy with how these came out. Next, I decided to have a little go at the slot pocket. Um, I found some really small flowers. This was very fiddly, but it actually wasn't as bad as I was expecting, except once I had laid all my flowers down, I pulled some individual leaves off. I knew this was going to be quite subtle because there wasn't going to be a lot of um, florals left on that plastic by the time it had been cut. Uh, but the biggest issue was actually when I tried to close the folder um, because the static moved the flowers around. So I did have to fiddle around with that for a bit. And I used that carrier page to uh, take that to the laminator machine and put that through. And again, I did have to put this through a couple of times, uh, but I, it was fine. Once probably would have been enough. It was a little bit wrinkly and I actually think maybe because of the age of the pouches they had some marks on. I'm not sure what they are. It actually looked um, it actually looked like condensation to be perfectly honest. It was actually much easier to get this through the die cutting machine than I thought it would be. It came out really well. Uh, you can see the flowers. I did have a little wrinkle in there, but I loved it. And that's the little panel on the front. So as you can guess, I decided to sew that. And I just, I sewed it straight onto a book page. And in there, I've just popped one of the little laminated leaves and laminated stamps. So this is the final piece that I had left. And I thought rather than use a die cut, I'd use one of my punches. So I cut this tag uh, two and a half inches wide. I'm not, I can't really remember how tall it was. Uh, but I cut that down, making sure I got all of the flowers in. And then I used this little punch I have, this little tag punch. Now, because it was plastic, it didn't work perfectly. I did need to take my scissors and just cut that final little piece out. It was only that bit that didn't work. Uh, but I really like the shape of this tag. Then I grabbed one of the little stamp pieces I made yesterday and just trimmed that down a little bit so it was smaller than the width of my tag because I wanted to do some sewing on here. I could have stamped this tag again, but I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with it at the time. So I just play around with this little piece of lace that I found. It do actually change my mind again when I take it to the sewing machine. And So there's my tag and all of the little pieces that I created with the laminate. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas from today's video. Bye.